internet. It's been a really fun year and I'm really looking forward to doing many more videos next year. And I know this is kind of like a different setup. You don't normally see my face on the Planner channel, but I thought I would change it up a little bit so that I could like talk directly to you guys. As much as I love filming the normal Planner videos with my hands and my desk, I feel like there's some level of disconnect there where I can't like, you can't see my eyes, my expressions. I thought I would change it up today just to make it a little bit more personal and so I could also tell you guys how grateful I am for all of you who do watch my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Anyways, at the end of every year, I like to film a favorites video for basically all the related products that I would typically feature on that channel. And I've done this a lot for my beauty channel. I haven't done it for my planner channel before, so I thought I would do it this year. This was really tough. Like, it wasn't that hard for my beauty channel. It's probably because I didn't use that many products. But I have been really, like, you know, neck deep in planner related goodies this year. I've been testing a lot of products. I've been trying new notebooks, different subscription boxes, just a lot of things. And so I feel like I've been through so many things and it's so difficult to narrow it down. I tried to narrow it down to about 10. I think I went a little bit over that because I just couldn't help it. Um, and there's so many more that I wish I could list here because they are amazing, but then we would be here forever. Unless you think we should be here forever. I just wasn't sure how long I should make this video because <laughs> I feel like my planning movie videos are already really long and I'm just rambling now. Okay, I'm just gonna get in into the video. So these products are in no particular order. I just kind of wrote them down as I was looking in my office and just trying to figure out what I think I really wanted to feature. Like, I tried to picture the scenario where I was like moving house and I could only fill up like a pencil case of stuff. What would I take with me? So these are kind of the items that I would definitely take with me. But honestly, I would be so sad if I could only move with a pencil case. <laughs> so the first product is the Pilot High Tech C Coletto Pen Series, I suppose. Basically, it's a set of gel pens that you can customize. I have quite a few of them. I have the 5 barrel, 4 barrel, 3 barrel, and the 2 barrel. I mostly use the 2 and the 3 barrel because they're not as big as the 4 and 5 barrels. So they're a lot easier and gentle on my hands. But the quality of the pens are so good. I mostly use the 0.3 and the 0.4 black ink Coletto um, refills and I just find that the pen writes so smoothly like just a dream glides on the paper when I'm writing really small or large it just writes so easy. I mostly use the 0.3 for say um, my bullet journal and I'll use the 0.4 for taking notes because it is despite being only 0.1 millimeter thicker it just actually seems quite a bit thicker when you write on paper. So I love that. Obviously there are so many other refills you can get. You can get um, the gel pens in multiple colors. You can get them in 0.5. I'm not sure if you can get them in 0.7. So that's something I'd have to check, but you can get them down to 0.3 and 0.4. You can get pencil versions. You can get erasers. Like it's quite a lot. So you can just totally customize the pen to whatever you want, which is the main thing I love. I love switching out the refills when I'm like, okay, this month I'm gonna write in a blue pen. And so I'll switch out with a blue pen instead. And the best part is that the whole series is pretty affordable. You can get like some Hello Kitty or Snoopy series and those are gonna cost a little bit more just for the limited editionness of it. But if you get the standard stuff, the refills themselves, like the actual barrels themselves are probably a few dollars and then the refills are like a dollar twenty, if not less. So that's essentially the price of a pen. So I think it's really good value for money. It writes so, so well. The next pen that I have fallen in love with so much is the Pilot Penmanship Fountain Pen. And I got this in a not so recent Jet Pens stationery haul. And this was one of the first serious delves that I took into fountain pens. And I can say I'm converted. I love fountain pens now. They are so fun to write with. And there's just a certain satisfaction with writing with them. But um, I love this particular one because it grips really well. It has like a really comfortable groove. So I feel like I can write for a really long time without hurting my hand or anything like that. The nib is extra fine, so it is perfect for like writing really fine notes, especially if you want to write anything in Japanese, like kanji especially, it's perfect for it because it is so fine. The only downside I find with it, but I think this is pretty normal, is that it does have a twist cap, so it's not as easy as just like pop the cap off, write, pop it back on. And you have to keep that lid on at all times when you're not using the pen, because if you leave that pen out, even just for like a minute or two without the lid, the ink does start to dry up a little bit and you won't be able to write as cleanly like the lines start to get thin, a little bit scratchy, you have to put the lid back on, wait a few minutes and then you can write again. So that's just worth keeping in mind. 
Oh, and pro tip, do not shake your fountain pen like this. Don't do that. You end up with like ink everywhere on your desk. I learned that the hard way. The next product I want to talk about is the Big Whiteout Exact Liner. You guys know if you watch my Erin Condren plan review videos, I use the Whiteout tape obsessively. I don't know if I'm going to be using it as much in 2018 because they did get rid of the headers for the neutral planner, but I spent a lot of 2017 just whiting out the labels or the headers in the Erin Condren planner, and so I've been searching for a really good whiteout tape. I love the Muji whiteout tape, it was one of my favorites, but I couldn't find refills for about six months. I have now found the refills. I feel like they've just done a restock, but prior to that, it was so hard to find the refills. So I ended up just switching to this one, Bic. And this is so much better. The thing is, with the Bic series, they have different configurations of their whiteout tape. They have one that's kind of like a bit more fat and rounded and not in the shape of a pen. That sucks. This one is terrible. I don't have the exact name, but I just would not recommend it at all. The tape just flies out so easily, it stretches, it's just, no, do not like. But the exact liner is so good, it, it, um, it's very smooth, it's very easy to control the tape, and it's so comfortable in my hands, so huge, huge thumbs up for that tape. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of black pens, because I use a lot of black pens, but I love the Pilot G2 0.38 millimeter pen. I know that the 0.7 version is really popular and that's the easiest one to get from what I can see. Like I have seen that quite a bit at Officeworks. The 0.38 millimeter, I had to specially order that online through Jet Pens, but I love it. It is, it, it's kind of like the Coletto pens. It writes so smoothly. I mean, they're both by Pilot, right? So that might be why, but it just glides on the paper and it just feels amazing to write with. I will say though that with both of the gel pens I've mentioned, the dry time is okay. Most of them you can't just smudge your hand over in like a few seconds. You usually gotta wait for a good 10 seconds to be certain that it's okay to rub your hand over. Maybe less, maybe not 10 seconds, maybe 10 seconds is a bit too much, but generally it's not a write and then rub, like you've gotta give it a little bit of a chance to set. Some other pens I've been really loving, um, and I'm going to list both of these together because they kind of sit in the same category. It's the Uni Pin Pens Fine Liner in 0.1 millimeter, and then there is the Sakura Pigma Mica pen. Both of these, I, to me, kind of sit in the same category. They're kind of, they're like, they look like felt tip pens, but the best thing about both of these is that they, they have archival ink. And that essentially means that the ink is waterproof which means I can write in them. Once it's set, I can like spill water on it and it will not smudge, it will not run. A lot of the other gel pens that I love, they will run if you spray a bit of water on them. And you might be thinking, why are you putting water in your notebook? Well, think watercolor. If I draw a picture with my Coletto pen and then I try and watercolor it, the edges just melt away. Like, it's not a good look. So I always use these two pens consistently for drawing things around watercoloring, or anytime I'm going to use even a marker to fill in the picture later on, just because the marker will, most of my markers are water-based, so they are gonna cause the outlines to smudge or run once I lay down the marker ink. So these two pens are like, to me, the best to use when it comes to drawing. Speaking of watercolors, this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention Winston Newton. They are one of my favorite watercolors on the planet. It was so hard though, because I was kind of tossing up between Winston Newton and Schmickle because I do use Schmickle a lot as well, but I think the Winston Newton just wins because it has that little case that I love, that travel case. It's so easy to use, it's easy to travel with. I love it. The watercolors from Winston Newton are so pigmented, so I feel like a little bit goes a long way. They last a really good amount of time, and as I mentioned in my watercoloring video, when you run your fingers over the actual watercolor, it doesn't have that chalky feel. It's very smooth, very nice. To complement my watercolors, I would have to recommend my Pentel Aquilish water brushes. I mostly just use the medium brush because I just feel like it's very multi-purpose. It does, has a, a decent amount of thickness to do a rough background, but it's so fine tip that you can actually use the tip to do a bit more fine work. So generally I use this pen, but I do have all the other brushes as well, especially when I need to do really detailed work or I just want a really big wash of color, but I couldn't recommend these brushes anymore. They basically are watercolor brushes and you fill them up with water on the inside. So you don't need to walk around with like a well of water when you are watercoloring, which means you can watercolor on the go. I mean, I've raved about these pens enough in my watercolor video, so you would have seen them before if you've watched that video, but yeah. 
If you're a fan of watercoloring, then you need to get a water brush. In terms of markers, there are so many good markers on the market, so many, at all different price ranges. I don't feel like I've used enough different markers to really give you a comprehensive review on like marker comparisons or anything like that. So I'm just going to talk about the ones that I have used. And the main one that I do use is the Tombow markers. I went ahead and bought like the, the set of 92 markers that you can get off Amazon and I love it. It is so many colors. Like it's like a stationary lover's dream to see all the colors lined out and it's amazing. But I'm featuring the black version because that's the one I use the most. So for those who aren't familiar, it basically is a dual tip marker. One side is kind of like a brush tip, although it's more felt, it's not an actual brush. And then the other side is just kind of like a more blunt marker. I feel like I've messed up my brush tip a little bit because I've used it so much that it's kind of a little wonky and not very straight anymore, or not very fine and sharp anymore, but I love this. It's just such an easy pen to use. I can do all sorts of calligraphy with it. I can write notes with it. It's just very versatile. And I think the Tombow range are amazing. There's a good color range. They're all water-based. I don't find that they seep through paper very easily, and I just love the variety. One brush pen that I have to mention, although I feel a little bit bad for mentioning it because I don't know if you can get it anymore, is the Muji brush pen. It's an actual brush that just um, secretes black pigment and it is my favorite pen for calligraphy because it's a brush. It's so much more flexible. You can really bend it more to get some of those solid hard lines, whereas you can't bend the Tombow brushes as much to get those thick lines. I always find that if I want to do like true calligraphy, then I need to either use a watercolor brush or I will use this Muji brush pen. This brush pen just glides on so easily. It's so pigmented. It does tend to seep through paper a little bit, but I'm willing to ignore that because the quality is amazing. The downside is I've not been able to find it since pick picking it up the last time I was at Muji. So that really bumps me out because I wanted to see if there were any other colors I could get or even just get a backup because I totally don't do that with my pens. Um, but I just not have been able to find it. So that really sucks. If I ever do find it, I will let you guys know. But yeah, that's definitely an amazing brush pen. One other set of pens that I want to mention, and I was just not really sure whether to mention them because I don't really like using them, but they are the finest tip pens that I own and can comfortably use. And they are the Pilot High Tech C gel pens in the 0.25 millimeter. So they are extremely fine to the point where they're actually kind of scratchy, which is why I don't love using them. But sometimes I need pens that fine when I'm writing like Japanese kanji or anything like that, or I just want to write little itty bitty notes. So they're really useful for things like that, but they're not the most comfortable pen to work with, so I would just keep that in mind. Okay, just a couple of notebooks, and then I have one last product. So, I feel like this video would not be complete if I didn't mention my Erin Condren Planner. Obviously, I love my Erin Condren Planner to death. So sad I'm gonna have to retire this one this year and move on to a different one next year. I'm gonna miss this cover so much. Like, I was almost tempted to just carry it through 2018 because, I mean, it's the world. And you guys know I am obsessed with travel, so this is perfect, but I kind of don't want to just keep using the same cover every year. I kind of want every year to have its own cover so it has its own story. So I'm going to retire this one. So sad. But I'm also to start my 2018 journal as well. A lot of great memories in the Erin Condren planner. I've had, this is like my third year that I've had this, so the next year, 2018, will be my fourth planner. And the memories are priceless. Like, if my house was on fire, I would grab my planners instantly because there's so much memory in them. Never thought I would really talk about a notebook, but I actually really, really love this notebook. And it is the Lee, uh, Lee Hit Lee Lab. It's a Japanese notebook, and it's just basically a lined notebook. Like, there's nothing really special about it, to be honest. I use this particular notebook to do all my Japanese homework in. But I think the main thing that I like about this notebook, and I feel like there's probably quite a few notebooks in the markets that do have it, so... This is just the one that I've seen personally. It's of the binder part here. I love that essentially you can slip, you can switch out the paper if you want, but the binder itself is not like a traditional ring bound planner or ring bound folder where the rings are huge. And I always find that with big ring bound planners, if I'm writing, especially here, my hand hits the rings. And so I can never get smooth writing when it comes close to the rings. And that's a big reason why I don't really like using ring bound planners for consistent writing. Like I like storing things in there, but I don't like writing in it a lot. But this, the rings are so much smaller 
and it's so light that you can just easily write right up to the edge. So this is one of my favorite notebooks. It's just such an easy notebook to write in. If I was still in university, I would definitely be using notebooks like this. I just feel like it's so good for studying. So this is probably my notebook of choice. All right, I have one last item for you guys and this won't come as a surprise. It's a pen. <laughs> it is the Uni Jetstream ballpoint pen in 0.3. This is one of the first pens I used when I started planning on this channel and I use it quite consistently throughout all my videos. In fact, it's the same pen, but I've changed the ink like twice now just because I have used up all the ink. And it's like my ride or die pen. It is a ballpoint pen. I love ballpoint pens because they don't smudge. They, you can like run your hand over it pretty much instantly, like a second or two later and then there's no smudging. It doesn't bleed through and I find that this series is just so easy to write with. You will have used these pens, at least the 0.5 versions, if you buy any of the planners from Hobonichi because they do offer the three barrel versions. So I love this pen and a lot of you guys have always left me comments about what's that blue pen you're using? What's the name of that pen you're using? And I've always had to let you guys know it's the Uni Jetstream in, it's actually 0.38. Not 0.3, 0.38. So I thought, kind of sad that I didn't get to do the whole Christmas card run this year. I am going to give away five of these pens. So I'm going to pick five random winners in the comments. I'm purposely putting this giveaway at the end and I'm not even mentioning it in the title because I want to give this pen to true viewers. Like viewers who are stuck with me, who consistently watch my video, who support me. You are the people who really lift me up when I'm having a bad day when I'm questioning a lot of things in my life, when I'm just not sure where things are going in my life, or I know it sounds so dramatic, doesn't it? But like, I'm human, I have bad days. And when I read your comments and I see you like love my videos or like my videos and just give me, like just leave the nicest comments to me, you just don't realize how much it lifts me up and how good it makes me feel. And there's nothing I can do to thank you guys individually. So I'm just hoping that I can do this small little giveaway at the end of this video and only somebody who's really been watching my videos will see this giveaway and can enter. So it's pretty simple. All you need to do is obviously be a subscriber and you need to have watched it to this point to even know the giveaways here. And just leave me a comment down below. In your comment below somewhere, it could be the start, the end, the middle, wherever, just say, I love your Jetstream pen. Just write, I love your Jetstream pen. I feel like that's inconspicuous enough so that people who maybe are just looking through the comments quickly without watching the video will not really know what you're talking about and won't realize that's associated to a giveaway. I don't know, I'm being super sneaky right now. I'm going to leave the giveaway open for two weeks and then after that I'm going to go through the comments and just pick the ones out that have said I love your Jetstream pen in the comment and then randomly select five. I will have to message you guys on YouTube to get your mailing address so that I can send the pens out to you. So please, 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 please check your YouTube messages or at least have some notification or something if you are planning to enter because the last giveaway I did, ooh, it took a long time <laughs> to get in touch with every single person because most people weren't checking their YouTube messages and I just couldn't give the prizes away so I had to just keep cycling through. So please check your YouTube messages. I really want to give you these pens. I want to show my appreciation even though this is a very small way to show you guys how much I love you, I really want to show you guys in some way or form. Anyways, I really hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos I've been putting up for 2017. It's been a blast. I've had the best time and I cannot wait for 2018. It is going to be an even better year, especially with you guys with me. So thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to you internet. Bye.